I was brought up in church. I was your classic church boy. Everything my whole life was centered at church. My mom always did a great job of taking my sister and I to church. As a little boy, uh, I was involved in everything from plays, from the kids' choir. Uh, we even had a, a kids' worship team. And even though at the time my dad wasn't going to church, he always respected us and respected my mom taking us to church. I was involved in church as a, as a little boy, but it was still more for, for the older people. Until when I was 12 years old, I went to my first youth camp. There at 12 years old, for the first time ever, I saw other kids, other young people, with their hands raised, worshiping, praying. It was that moment where I finally said, you know, this is for me right now. I was able to accept Christ as, as my Lord and Savior that moment. By 15, I was the one of the assistant youth leaders. I knew that at that time, God was preparing me for something for the future, but everything was still for the future. At the time, I was all into baseball. Baseball was my life, sports were my life. So was, uh, I wanted to go to school, go to college and, and study so that I'm able to be a, a sportscaster or a sports reporter. I, I always knew that I, I liked preaching and doing all that, but all that was separate compared to what I wanted to do. But then September 11th happened. On a Tuesday morning, there I'm by myself in my house. My parents were gone, my family was gone. And I'm sitting there watching TV and I'm watching everything that's happening. And all I could think was, wow, this world is so in need of God. It's so dark. The enemy's really, there's, he's just doing so much to this world. And how can I be so selfish and keep all this to myself? That Tuesday morning, I thought, I have to do something about this. I, I, I can't keep it to myself. I, I left college and I left to a Bible school. I left to a Bible school in, in Texas. And when I went to Texas, still in my mind, I still had my plans, thinking, I'm going to go to Texas, take a couple years of school there. And, and get ready for ministry and then come back to my church there in Arizona and serve there as whatever way God wants to do. But when I went to school there, the Lord opened up my, my eyes again to what ministry really was. It wasn't just preaching. It wasn't just uh, being an evangelist and, and, and traveling different places and preaching. He really, I really saw as I, as I matured older how much that God could use my life specifically to really serve so when I left, when I left the school there in, in Texas, I went back home and I was still not comfortable. I still needed to, to really follow God's calling more and more every time. So I leave, I leave Arizona again to go to a school in Oakland, California, another small Christian university. And it was there that when I got there, I saw so much need again. It was there in Oakland where really God called me to start something. And even there at the school, while we were there, uh, I meet my wife. I never thought that that's where I would meet her. A girl from Pakistan. Who knew? Again, God always had something greater for me. Even though in my life I was always limiting what God could do. I was always keeping it to myself or, or, or even... Uh, doing it, trying to do it my, my way, my plans. And God had something greater always. And when I thought about going back to my home church in Arizona and just serving there, now being able to start a, a church here and at the same time, not just a church, but now God's calling us to do a bilingual church and, and starting it that way. All these things that we, I never thought was even available or, or could even happen. Uh, God continues to always challenge me to do greater things for Him. When I first started following God's calling 100%, that's when I remember getting phone calls from my dad telling me that he started going to church and he had he's now a worshiper and really believes in, in Jesus as a Savior as well. All these things are showing me that when you give 100% to God, He never fails us and He gives so much more to us. My name is Sergio Acedo, and I'm not of this world.